you everyone for coming to my talk uh, during this lunch break. Um, so I guess I'll start because it is one o'clock. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm Sina Madani, a Java developer advocate at Vonage, and I'm here to talk to you about an aspect of the Java platform that is often overlooked, um, especially by people coming into Java from other languages or even people may have used Java for a while and come across certain issues. Um, so it, uh, at Vonage, we do communication APIs and um, my job, uh, part of my job is uh, maintaining the Java SDK that we have. And one of the most common uh, issues we get from people is, hey, I tried to use your SDK in my project and, um, and it didn't work. Like uh, I, I got this problem, uh, what, what's going on? And it's almost always uh, an issue with dependencies. Um, and so I just wanted to highlight like what, why that is and um, how you can diagnose it and um, why these complications happen and what you can do about it. So if I wanted to start off, let, let, me, let me take you through um, a journey in Python. Now, why am I talking about this? Because if I wanted to use um, the library in Python, right? It's a, it's a very uh, straightforward process. So if I, uh, if I just show you this right now, let's say I have, um, apologies, if I uh, go to my terminal and I just install the library, okay? If you can see that um, on the screen, now I've already got it installed. Okay, now I just uh, go into Python and I've got, you know, the interpreter there. And I have some code uh, in Python. You can see it's a, a few lines of code to send an SMS. I can copy this into here, to the terminal and send it. And I sent an SMS and I got a response from our API, right? So you think, well, that, that's brilliant. Um, uh, that works, right, in Python. Um, now, if we were to do this in Java, um, what's the process? Well, modern Java is very good, but we don't have a, a pip or a tool like that to, to do this. So, um, well, I have to go and find the jar and uh, run it and and so on. So uh, let me show you how would I do this? Well, I find the project, uh, maybe on GitHub and then maybe go to Maven Central because that's where everything's hosted. And um, okay, I might download the jar. Now all.jar, right? So that gives me um, the jar with all the dependencies uh, and all the translated dependencies of that library and I can include it into my project. So let's take a look at how this would look. Um, so if I wanted to do the same in Java, uh, this is the code here, uh, and I have the library here, right, in this folder, um, server SDK 8.6 all.jar. Um, I can do all sorts of things with our APIs. I can send images over WhatsApp or SMS or location. So let's say I want to send a location and I want to run it, and you can see how with modern Java, um, this looks uh, fairly, uh, fairly nice. If I just make this smaller, you don't need a main, you don't need a st uh, like public static void main. You don't need a class. You just void main in modern Java, right? Um, so it, it's, uh, it's it's quite nice. And the great thing about modern Java as well is I can run this without any compilation, so that I can run this command, as you can see here: Java enable preview um, minus cp. So that's class path everything in the directory and then the file I want to run and any arguments I want to pass to the file. So let, let's try this, okay? Let's do send WhatsApp image, okay? And it runs and you can see, I, yeah, I've got an image on WhatsApp, yeah. Um, so that's how it works. Now, let me uh, let me drag this HTTP client library, the more the merrier library. Let's say I have a I want to use this um, into this folder. All I did is I just dragged and dropped this library into this directory, and if I run it again, now it doesn't work. And you see, well, okay, what? 
how am I supposed to debug this? And you might come across this and be like, ah, why doesn't it work? And then, okay, I go and rename this, uh, this file, uh, my dependency, my jar, to something else, okay, like three server SDK, and I run it, and now it magically works. So what's going on here? Um, well, let me drag that back out. What, what's really going on is that, um, well, when you run this, I'm including everything here, right? So if I did server, if I just copy the, the name of just this uh, file from here, um, then that that is going to work because I have everything I need there, right? Um, but now let's say I drag another library there and I copy the, the name. Uh, copy relative path. And I add it to my to here. Then you can see that well, that also worked. Now, if I swap the order in which I am including these, okay, to uh, add this there. Now it fails. And it's a different error because I changed which library I'm including as well. So you're getting a different error um, depending on which libraries you include, right, in your class path. Okay, so it depends on which order you put them in and which order they're loaded in. Now I know that this code is using uh, a JWT library. I'm using JWT for authentication. So now if I change the code um, so that I just use my API key and secret and run this, you can see it worked uh, this time, right? So, <laughs> well, this is where, like, you just still have one command to run this, but what's really going on is that um, you're doing, this is just uh, syntactic sugar in a way of doing the compilation. You're not just running this interpreted. There's no magic going on here. Really, you, you are doing compilation, right? So if I were to do the, the compilation of that file, uh, using this uh, this file I have here, um, compiling with Java C, right? Then then it will, of course, compile. Uh, but if I removed the the library, then it won't compile because it can't find what it needs. Okay, so that's that's the key here. So if I actually do the compilation and I try to run it, run the compiled uh, using this command, uh, Java enable preview, the same thing, but I'm actually just running the class file this time. It works. Um, so I remove the library it doesn't work right so that's what's uh, that's really what's going on well you may say hang on a minute uh, what about um, build tools we have lots of build tools that help us out with this right take your pick uh, in the JVM ecosystem we're not short of that and yes build tools um, what they do is they relieve you of having to understand this uh, this syntax of um, what well, of you know uh, the, how do you do the separation how do you include all of them and and this uh, how do, how to set the class path in that way. However, they still do not solve they can't abstract away the fundamental aspect of the runtime. Right, the platform requires this distinction between compile time and runtime dependencies. And this is exposed even in the build tools because it's a fundamental aspect. So let's take a look at Maven. 
if we were doing this in uh, in Maven, um, if I just go to this directory, um, I can you can see I've got uh, my pom and have a main class declared, and I have my dependencies. And if I wanted to do uh, this, so you can see it's it's executing the main class. The same, it's the same code, right? It's the same thing. Uh, exec Java, I can run this, and uh, it worked, right? It printed out the ID of the message I sent. Um, but the concept is by default, this default, the default scope in Maven is compile if you don't include it. Um, but compile in Maven um, and in Gradle, it doesn't mean compile, it means compile time and runtime. Hence why there is a compile only scope. And if I, if I run it, it's not going to work because it can't find the dependency. If I put it to compile only, right? Can't find the method. So, that's uh, the build tools still have this uh, this concept, and uh, similarly, if I were to include this uh, jar that I was using before, um, this outdated library, uh, it's still going to complain at me, right? So, uh, but if I were to change the the code, um, yeah, just like I did last time, um, it's going to to work. Uh, if I were to take this, uh, my apologies, wrong wrong code. See, it worked because I changed the part the code is using, so it no longer relies on that library. Uh, so that's where you're kind of trying to hit a moving target, regardless of what tool you're using. Um, you're always going to have this problem um, of what 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 you have on your class path. And just because the build tool doesn't show you it, it's still there. The class path is still there between what's at runtime and what's at compile time. So how would you uh, understand this? Um, well, there is a tool called uh, like build tools have something called a dependency tree. So for um, Gradle has this, Ant has this. So if I did Maven dependency tree here and I expand so you can see this better, I can see that my, my demo app here is relying on this server SDK version, as I declared. Um, and that dep that has uh, the, the tree, it depends on these libraries, right? So earlier when I showed the HTTP with an older version of the client, that's why it was failing, because it depends on this HTTP client. Similarly, it depends on this uh, JWT library, which in turn depends on uh, this JSON web token library. And it's depending on this version specifically, 0 0.12.5, and you can see the scope, right? But in my project, you know, two levels up, I have declared a newer version, and that's overriding the older version. So that there, you can see where the error is coming from. What's causing this discrepancy between, uh, what's causing this issue. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can go about um, diagnosing these issues. Like if you're running something and it seems like, why is it not working? Well, it's mostly because of the class path and no build tool can save you from messing up the class path if you just add all your libraries to your dependencies and not really understand what's there. So it's something to be aware of, especially if you're going to Java from um, other languages. Uh, yeah. So that that's all uh, I have time to show you. But um, yeah, we have a booth, uh, the Vonage booth um, downstairs, if you want to come and talk about this or if you have any thoughts or um, questions or whatever. So yeah, thank you for coming to my talk.